Over the last 120 years, motion pictures have come a long way. But now, the industry's future looks a lot more precarious. Despite a record $36 billion in box office takings, the architects of the silver screen know they could be losing their footing. Cinema faces three big challenges, demographics, streaming and piracy. Millennials and teenagers consume their media in a very different way. They do it on their phones, on demand and with a much shorter attention span. Faster internet speeds have meant that downloading and streaming has become much easier at home and that goes equally for illegal downloads. Piracy across the globe is estimated to cost the industry £500 million a year. So, is it going to be spectacle like this that's going to win audiences back to the theatre? IMAX is showcasing its new laser technology with the film The Walk. You can't see this on your TVs at home, but this is our attempt to give you a flavour of how it feels. I make my way to the top and I find myself standing on an island floating in midair on the edge of the void. Colours more vivid, sounds sharper, and the 3D effect more immersive. Laser system is IMAX has spent $60 million developing new projectors to do this, with the claim that this modern type of cinema creates an unparalleled experience. Cinema is heading in a couple of different directions. One is, you know, the big immersive, um, you know, system that, that we provide, and the other is luxury. So I think, you know, normal cinema has to adapt or normal cinema will be consumed by home entertainment. The man who directed The Walk also gave us Back to the Future and Forrest Gump. As an early adopter of new technology, he says it can always enhance a story if used correctly. I'm going to hang a high wire between the two towers of Do you despair when you see teenagers looking on their phones at films? Well, listen, I'm very grateful that I was here at the golden time, and I think that those times can come back again. I actually think that the thing that actually is going to save the cinema is technology itself. In 10 years time, and 20 years time, I think that there'll be certain movies that are going to be cinematic experiences, and then everything else will probably be on the internet. Of the 43,000 cinema screens in North America, 39% are the digital 3D format. In Europe and the Middle East, 46% of screens are 3D. While Asia now boasts the most screens, over 47,000 and 70% of them are in the new format. In fact, China is really where box office is booming, with sales up by a third last year. As cinema going in Europe and the US stalls or goes backwards, changing consumer habits in Asia could inject vast amounts of money needed to power the global film industry. The truth is that all creative industries are facing mass upheaval, whether it's film, publishing, or even TV. The warning from critics, however, is that in adapting to this new reality, a lot could be lost along the way.